Hey, what's up guys? It's x 2 robbie 2 x here, and I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And last episode, you actually saw me create custom a custom texture folder that makes it easier for, you know, just makes it easier for organizing your mod. And today, I've actually been getting a lot of requests to show how to package, prepare and package your mod for your pretty much distribution for everybody else to see. So, that's what we're going to do today. Um... First thing you want to do is basically get your mod ready in Eclipse. You see everything is ready. If we click to run right now, it would work. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to save time here. So it works, trust me. So next thing what you're going to do is you're going to open up your MCP folder. And you are going to click recompile. Now, I will be right back as soon as it recompiles. So just hang tight. Okay, so all our um, classes just recompiled. And basically what that means is it's taking the .java classes, which... You can open with a notepad or any pretty much word editor, and it is recompiling them into .class files. And what that does is basically it use it makes the classes able to be used by Java. I don't know if that makes sense, but just uh, just trust me on this one. So you're gonna hit any key to continue, and then after recompile, you're gonna go two down and just hit reobfuscate. Now this is a fairly quick process. Basically, what it does it it checks, it compares your new classes to all the original classes, and it just spits out every single class that's been modified or that is different, or a new class that is not the same as the original classes. As you can see, I have a bunch of them here, and a lot of them are from different mods. So I don't only have the block human here, I have a bunch of different mods in here. So, um, again, after you reobfuscate, you can go ahead and press any key to continue. And now, next. You're going to go into the reob folder and Minecraft, and you're going to get all these classes in here. These are all the classes that you've modified or added into the game, and a lot of these classes are not blocky them for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a few seconds and delete this. So, yeah, delete all the unnecessary classes. All right, so as you can see, I deleted all the unnecessary classes that I had in here, and um, I don't know. All you can see is all our blocky them stuff, every single one of our blocking classes along with our entity explosive arrow and then the next thing you want to package in here is also open up your MCP folder yet again and you're gonna go into Eclipse client bin and then we have our blocking folder right there with the textures you're gonna plop the textures right in there so there we go there's that and then any other text file or anything else you want to package in with the mod just put it in here and then if you have WinRAR installed which I have I don't know how the other, I don't know how 7-zip works, but you're going to highlight all of them, right click, add to archive, and then you're going to go ahead and click the zip down there, and you want to rename this, for example, Blockium Release V1, version 1. So we're going to OK, and there we go. We have our zip file of our Blockium release, and this is what you're going to put up for download, and this is how you package a mod. So, um, that's that. Here's here's mod packaging. Now you know how to reobfuscate, recompile, and all that with all your textures in there. Now, if you plop this in the mods folder into the Minecraft, that would work. If you plop that into the dot jar, that would work. But first, you have to unzip it. You know, you know how to install mods. I hope. So this is what you give to other people. This is what your mod compiles to. So um, I hope that helped. And thanks for watching. See ya.